All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and share the video after we finish immediately. Please start downloading. It take about 20 minutes before the video will be available for download. And again, as we said, the point is of downloading is to keep those videos alive for the Muslims will hate them very much. Let us go straight to the topic. All of us, we knew that children are a gift of God and they are something very valuable in our future and our present because even your retirement is based on a children's who they are born today. And this is why we as a Christians, we stand against abortion and we stand against what is called gays and lesbian. For if everybody became a gay and lesbian, the nation will die and even you will be homeless when you are retired. Which means this is not only against God, it is going to have a huge impact in your financial future. So it is a very disastrous way of thinking. However, this is not our topic for today. What is the stand of Jesus from the children's and what is the stand of Muhammad from the children's? How the Messiah, he looked at the children's and how Islam and Muhammad and the God of Islam look at the children's. This is, can be a very huge topic. Actually, maybe I should make a book about it because there is no way we can finish in 15 minutes talking about this. But we will give you what is enough to tell the whole story in 15 minutes. So let us do it. If we go in the Bible, we will find that there is many verses in the Bible speak about those who harm the children's. As an example, in chapter in Matthew chapter 18, verse number six, it says, But those who shall offend the one of those little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck, and then you know he drowned himself in the in the deep ocean. So what the Messiah is saying, if you want to hurt a child, it doesn't matter how you hurt him. And uh, a sexual way is one of the most ugly uh, harm a human being he can do to a child. All of us, we knew that uh, Muslims, they speak about uh, a child molestation. And when they get so excited, when they hear like a priest, he did a child molestation. A priest or not a priest, he will he will suffer a severe punishment of God. This is totally a satanic behavior against the teaching of Christ. So when a human being, he don't follow the teaching of the Messiah, he's no Christian. Number two, he cannot claim to be Christian. Number three, he will be punished severely in the judgment day for his behavior. So we cannot attach such a behavior to Christianity doesn't matter if the person he wore a uniform of a priest or not the Bible speak clearly be careful watch for false teachers and false prophets who come to you in a clothes of a sheep but the fact they are wolves and those who do such a thing to children are wolves the Messiah even he said that if, if you want to go to heaven you better be like them you know you better be like them and the Messiah he will come the children to be part of his kingdom he loved them he asked us to take care of them and he said as we see in mark chapter 10 verse 13 to 16 you can read the whole chapter if you wish uh, what is the thought of the messiah you know how he uh, how he considered them as a as a as a as a gift of god so here we see this story here and they brought a younger child to him you know the young children's to him that he should touch them and his disciple rebuked those that brought them but when the jesus saw it which means those what, what they did uh he was much displeased and he said unto them suffer the little children to come to me which means let them come to me and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of god so the Messiah have a special place for the children's and he always wanted them to be treated differently. How Islam treat the children's. In Christianity, a child who is born as a child, as you know, as the, like out of sin, you see the, the Muslim, they say to us that we are the people who believe in the original sin. But the fact 
our belief in the original sin does not mean that you are born with sin that's false original sin is that every human being he is the same as his father Adam he commits sin we commit sin too as simple as that and this is why you see Jesus saying that a child is going to go to heaven for heaven is made for them so the sin we are talking about is not something we inherited in the DNA it is a sin we do in the age of maturity it is sin we do and no one is good but God but the children are always good in the eye of God for very simple reason because even when a child he commits sin he do not know what he's doing as an example a child he might grab a gun and play with it and shoot you you he just killed the person but he is just a child he do not know what he did a child he might grab a dirt and eat it and might kill himself does that mean he commits suicide no you know he's just a kid he do not know what he's doing so sin of a human being is different for somebody is mature and somebody is not mature so if a child he commits sin yes it is sin he might do harm to somebody he might do harm to himself but he is unaware for that reason God promised him heaven which means you are judged for you are aware of what you are doing if we go to Islam we will find the following first of all we hear the Muslims speaking very much about Muhammad that uh, uh, you know when we say to the Muslims that Muhammad he married Aisha at the age of six the Muslims they come to us and they say well you know what uh, Muhammad no this is a lie and this is a fake story this is a fake story is not a true so if we go right now and see in the hadith we will find the following Those are the reports by Aisha that the Prophet he did marry her at the age of six and he have full intercourse with her at the age of nine according to her which means from six to nine he was playing with her molesting her but the age of nine he did rape her and as you see all those hadith are very authentic those are authentic books those are not rejected books yet the Muslims in order to take the shame away from Muhammad they try to say to us, oh, we don't accept them, they are false. So they made tons of articles trying to defend the honor of Muhammad and rejecting that there is no way we will accept such a thing that our prophet is doing molestation to children because this is very, very bad. And the Muslims, because they feel that this is bad, they understand this is bad. There is no way a prophet of God is going to have a sexual relationship or even to think about a child she is at the age of six. So what we do, we fabricate articles by thousand saying that Aisha she was at the age of 18 however between the Muslims there is some Muslims who still stand for what is written in their books and those are the scholars not like Shabir Ali and uh, you know those uh, those uh, stage scholars those are fake they are not scholars if you go here you will find an article written by Muslims this is a fatwa website this is by the Sheikh uh, uh, Muhammad Saleh Al Munjad very well known big Sheikh in Saudi Arabia he said fatwa number one two two five three four refutation for that for the lie that the prophet blessing and peace be upon him married Aisha when she was at the age of 18 so if you read this the whole article they are just refuting the lies which the Muslims they say that Aisha she was 18 you see they are not refuting me they are refuting the Muslims lying about the age of Aisha and the reason for the Muslims lying about the age of Aisha because they feel the shame coming from this story how we can explain to the world that someone he is a prophet of God yet he is having sexual relationship with a child how in the world a guy at the age of 54 he engaged in sexual relationship and how even he can think about it you see it's not before before you go and do something especially if it is sexually uh, even if it's food I mean before you eat the food first you wish to have the food you like the food so how a man at the age of 54 he was engaged of a desire in a child so this article I'm going to post it for you actually it is in already in patreon I post it in the info you can click there uh, this article is to prove that whoever say that Aisha she was 18 is a liar with the clear reference and those are scholars speaking not Christian Prince this is an article not by Christian Prince as you see the whole article is just to get those busted 
who say Aisha she was 18 when the Prophet did marry her or have intercourse with her so it's a proven it's defended it is authentic it is documented by the Muslims that Muhammad he had sexual relationship with the children based in the law he is a child molester and he is a rapist because molestation is something and raping is something and we are talking about raping the children if you go and see the mentality of Muhammad how Muhammad he present the children if you remember the story when a guy he went he was going home and the Prophet he said to him did you marry uh, a virgin the Prophet said to the man his name is Jabir he noticed that he is in a rush to go home. He said to him, did you marry a virgin or a previously married? The messenger of Allah, you know, he said uh, he said to the prophet, messenger of Allah, uh, oh, well, I married a previously married woman. Whereupon he said, why you don't marry a young girl, which means a child, so that you could sport with her and she sport with you. And the other, in the Arabic meaning, it's actually, she play with you. She play, you can play together, you know. And here you, you you see the mentality of Muhammad explaining why he wanted Aisha at the age of six. You see, when Muhammad he did marry Khadija, a woman she is 25 years older, at least more than him. Obviously, he did not marry her because he liked her, because here we go, he's advising the guy why you are doing this, why you are marrying a woman. She is a widow, she's a woman. Why you don't marry a young child? So Muhammad he prefer young children's for sex for he enjoy he have a fantasy to play with them and he is explaining to this guy that they are more fun look look what he said this is not my words so she could sport with you or you could uh, amuse she could uh, or you could amuse with her and she could amuse with you the mentality of this man is the following a child is very good for fun whatever you do to them in the bed they don't understand you give them a candy they are happy with it not like a woman she start asking for this and that it's a child it's a baby it's a kid so here you understand the mentality of Muhammad so while Jesus was teaching us to protect the children it's better for us to put a milestone in our neck Muhammad was teaching his followers that you better have a child in your lap how in the world Muhammad can be a prophet of God and remember in the Quran, if we go to the chapter of, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, four, uh, uh, you will see actually chapter 65. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to keep the video short as we promised. But sometimes it's hard to do it. All right. Here you will see the Muslims are discussing in this verse divorcing children you see the Muslim they say oh no we don't marry children here it says that those are children because they are too young they don't have menstruation do you see it chapter 65 verse number four so because they are too young they don't have menstruation and we are talking about divorcing them actually if you have my book sex and Allah there's an there's a there's a headline it says we divorce them but we don't marry them which is funny right so here you will see how Muhammad is encouraging the Muslims to marry children, to have sex with them, and now he even put rules about divorcing the children. How you can divorce a child? Because Muhammad he said, if a child, if, if a woman she is divorced, she have to wait for three period before she can get married again. So what about a child who never have a period yet and will never have a period for maybe for many years to come? Or maybe even because you damage her, because you know, imagine a child, you are raping a child. So Muhammad he made made it clear that you can divorce children because simply you can marry them. Otherwise, how we can divorce? Do you see here it says because they are too young? Do you see it? So too young for what? Too young to have their period. They don't have menstruation. Do you see it? They don't have menstruation because they are too young. So Muhammad, he always viewed the women as a sex object, and he have a special view for children that they are the best sex object. This is why he is encouraging the man in the story we saw before. Uh, why you don't 
go and get a baby child so she can amuse you and you can amuse her what kind of a prophet and what kind of a wise man he would do such a thing imagine if Jesus was standing and I'm sure he was standing watching Muhammad for he Muhammad teaching his followers to do such a behavior and then Muhammad he come with a new idea regarding children's too I don't want to forget to mention but this is about sexuality Muhammad he makes it clear that if you are a child not necessarily you will go to heaven because who care Allah he made for people of heaven people of heaven before he created them here there's a story of a child who died and he is a child a child of a Muslim family so Aisha she, she said to herself oh this guy this baby he will be a bird from the birds of paradise Muhammad he said to her Aisha are you stupid or what Allah created for paradise people of paradise when they are in the backbone of their parents and their father and he created for hell who is going to be for hell when they are in the backbone of their parents so according to Muhammad you being a child is not like the same as the Bible says that if you are a child the, ch the kingdom of God is made for the children actually if you want to go to heaven you should you better be the same as the children for this is where the kingdom of God is made for but here Muhammad he have a different opinion and he have a different religion and he have a different standard children are sex object and this is why the Quran promised us in the heaven if we convert to Islam boys who they are naked going around us and they are described in the Quran that they are white like pearls because the Arab are obsessed with the white color so they will be very beautiful boys not only children's we will have and here you will see Muhammad is describing that a child will go to hell or he might go to heaven being a child doesn't make any difference in Islam and that for sure a very clear evidence that the Muslims have a wrong idea of justice same time they have a stupid idea what it's called the original sin because if you don't believe in the original sin Muslims then what sin is going to make a child go to hell you see original sin in Christianity does not take a child to hell original sin in Islam is the one making you go to hell because Allah he wrote your sin which means even if you are not sinner you did not do it Allah he wrote your sin there for you when you are not born yet so if you die as a child still you will go to hell this is how stupid this cult and this is what we share with you for today tomorrow remember we have a debate with Muslim Abdul who is very very going crazy to debate me this guy he want to eat me alive so I'm assuming that this guy is very strong very big and I am you know I need to do some training I cannot sleep today because this Abdul he is going to make me shish kebab tomorrow download the video share it with your friends and until I see you tomorrow Saturday at 4 30 and tomorrow we will have a long night together we will not be like 15 minutes only those videos are meant short actually they are not short no more look I am here for longer than the 15 minutes I promise so uh, tomorrow we'll stay together longer because we will have a debate a person so please download the video after we finish share it with your friends everywhere you can cut it pieces do whatever you want it but just download it because this video will not stay in this channel we will take it down to be sure that you guys are downloading thank you and may the Lord bless you and we see you soon again tomorrow at 4 30 p.m. Christ is Lord and Islam is evil Islam hated children's insulted children's cause injury to children's humiliated children's abused children's and it is disgusting when it's come not only to women but the children's too Christ is Lord and see you soon again bye-bye